Well, the previous video was set against um, the background of a roller coaster, which might have been a bit much, so let's try something a bit more sensible. Uh, now, continuing with um, the module guide, the key information is standard to uh, all module guides, but very important. Uh, and there it gives the module title, Technology in the Work Setting, um, and the details of how you can contact me. Most students are on the BA Honours Learning Technology and Research uh, degree course, um, but uh, the module is taken by some students as part of a general education degree. Um, the module definition form is the form that is the basis, it's the core definition of what needs to be in. And much of the module guide is about unpacking that. Um, but you can see the original um, module definition form, um, and probably the easiest place to find it is in the VLE. Um, but the, it is available elsewhere, and I have to put that in the module guide. Um, important to note that uh, anything I might say or write um, is written with the academic regulations in mind, and my apologies if I have made any mistakes whatsoever anywhere. Uh, the, the academic regulations are the uh, are the key authority okay uh, so let's go to the introduction to the module now technology in the work setting brings together skills in research analysis and in using technology building on the skills that you've already learnt in previous studies uh, I expect students to show a creative and constructive approach to workplace technology. And we're taking technology here in the wider sense, anything from um, a pencil to a phone to a computer, or even the use of video. The module is an opportunity to examine underused technology uh, currently in place within your work setting, so available to you, and then to develop um, a new skill in the use of a technology that you've selected. So find something that isn't used very much or isn't used very much by you. Uh, for example, here I don't use video a lot, so I'm developing my use of it and proofreading the module guide at the same time. Uh, you will systematically examine, research, analyse, build and test your technology model and then finally report back with conclusions on the success or failure of what you set out to achieve. So the important thing here is that you look at what technologies are uh, available to, to you at work, uh, have a go at developing your use of them, uh, and whether you succeed or fail doesn't matter. It's the systematic approach uh, that is important, the process. Examples from previous students include developing the use of a laptop to create videos, much as I'm doing here, adapting teaching to use a visualizer, introducing email to pupils in a secondary school, uh, developing a school VLE for communication with parents, and developing the use of a handheld text scanner. Uh, so the ideas don't have to be enormous and uh, nor should they be. They should fit within the scope of the module. Careful preparation is necessary before developing a new skill. 
uh, as your element of technology should be discussed and developed in principle before taking the steps of creating an alternative use or prototype. Uh, so, for example, I have already looked at the use of video in online learning. Um, I looked at the background, done some reading about it, made a, a few videos before, this isn't my first one, uh, and uh, so I'm starting not from uh, not having done it before, but wanting to develop something that's already existing. I didn't buy anything special in order to do this. I'm using a technology already available to me as part of my work. As students, you'll be encouraged to consider a, a range of technology, a diversity of elements currently in place and ensure that you follow the university ethics and protocols carefully. Uh, you've met them before in your Understanding Action Inquiry mod module. Basically, uh, if you're doing uh, any uh, university projects, you have to pay attention to whether the project is beneficial to all those who are involved with it, those at work, that people agree to it, uh, that you have uh, the, the support of your um, of your line manager, head teacher, head of department, uh, or whatever, and that you're not collecting any data that can't be used in a university study. The module consists of, of two elements. Um, And that's the the I've got my papers all mixed up here. Uh, so you start by examining and evaluating the purpose of technology within your particular setting. So my setting is the university, uh, stating how it plays a, a fundamental role in a successful system with a view to adaptation, development or improvement of that system. Now, I, I'm not sure whether video plays um, a fundamental role, uh, but certainly in the research uh, papers, there's a strong suggestion that uh, the use of video should play uh, uh, a very important role in online and other uh, types of learning and teaching. You're going to choose one uh, method or model of technology and uh, building on your uh, evaluation, elaborate on its effectiveness uh, with a view to adapting or changing to a more productive model. Learning a new technology-based skill will become integral to your plan of action and you will evaluate uh, the newly learned skill on completion of the module in the, in the stitching element. Uh, during this module you will research an element of technology currently in, in your workplace, analyse the effectiveness of the technology Consider an adaptation and a ref or a refinement. Use an element of technology to produce an alternative that addresses issues raised in your analysis. Uh, evaluate and make conclusions within the final stitching piece. You'll compare with similar local and national institutions, uh, and you can do this through um, through looking at documents such as uh, research or policy papers uh, and through discussion with other students uh, so that you are not focused solely on your own place. Um, and uh, you propose alternatives and improvements, uh, further uh, improvements that are relevant 
to your job, to where you work. And you're expected to discuss this within the um, online group tutorials, which will help you to fill the requirements for regular attendance. This is Shirley Pickford, not on a roller coaster.